Hey everybody, welcome to Pop Culture Philosophers. I'm Rockin' Robbie Billups, and today we're going to be talking about Red Room. That's right, everybody. Thanks for checking out the video. I am Rockin' Robbie Billups, and today we are going to be talking about Red Room by Ed Piscor. This is one of my favorite comic books of the year. I love this book. Now, this book, real briefly, let me tell you what it is. It is about murder on the dark web for fun and profit. That's the name of the game in the Red Room universe, or as that's what Ed Piscor likes to say, and that's exactly what this is. This is completely written and illustrated by Ed Piscor. This is a gnarly book that is perfect for a horror fan. So if you're out there looking for gifts to give a horror comic book fan and they don't have Red Room, this is definitely something you want to get. It's a nice package from Fantagraphic Books. Red Room is about snuff films being made on the dark web. So they like have these live streamed murder videos on the dark web and that's what their Red Room is. It's this whole seedy underworld about it, all kinds of crazy stuff. I'm about to get into a why I like this book a little bit. But I will warn you, this book is not going to be for everybody. It is extremely, like, R-rated. It's got lots of gore, lots of gnarliness, lots of grossness. And I'll be showing some of that imagery here in this video. So if that's not to your taste, you might just want to... You might just want to skip this book, but this book is awesome if you're a fan of horror movies, especially like the more gory, the more gnarly, the more sadistic, right? Like I said, it's about it's about snuff films being live streamed on the dark web and the crazy seedy underworld that's all around that. It is absolutely fantastic. Ed Piscor did four issues of this already. There is a second volume, Trigger Warnings, that's going to be releasing um, in February, I believe. There's been some delays at the printer or whatnot. But this book is awesome. So Ed Piscor, we know him from Hip Hop Family Tree. We know him from X-Men Grand Design, from WYSIWYG, but now Red Room. This, to me, is the best work I've ever seen from this cat, and I'm a huge fan. He's also one half or one third of the cartoonist kayfabe YouTube crew. Um, fantastic YouTube channel, so if you've never checked it out, if you're really into process and uh, how comic book art, how comic books get made, you definitely want to check out their channel. This book is crazy awesome. So let's talk about the art real quick. It is gross, but it's gross in the nicest, most beautiful way possible, right? It is absolutely gnarly. It's kind of got this newsprint type vibe and flavor to it. Um, Ed Piscor is using like duotone, so he actually had some duotone undeveloped sheets. He developed them, he scanned them in to his computer. He's been using that. He's integrating a lot of old school techniques, but doing it in a very new school and fresh and vibrant kind of way. The gore, it does not hold back, yo. Like, it's not, not, it's not just all entrails and body parts, but when it needs to get there, it gets there and it doesn't hold anything back. This is a beautiful edition of this book. So four issues of the original series, the Antisocial Network, that's all that's put in here. One bad negative about this collection is it doesn't have any of the variant covers. Jim Rugg's done a lot of cool ones. I got that Spawn one for issue number four. Um, Peach Momoko, lots of others. Doesn't have any of those in here, and it doesn't include the free comic book day issue, but I do believe that at Ed Piscor's Patreon page, you can read that for free anyway. So that's cool. I wish it would have had that to be a little bit more completionist of me, but that being said, this is a beautiful and uh, edition of this book. It's wider than the actual comic book size when it came out. By the way, that first issue is like over 60 pages than each other issue is like between 20 and 30. They all are self-contained stories, but they are all part of a larger narrative about this Red Room world or underworld, we should say, right? I love this book. The cover is brilliant. It's got this like this kind of like texture there on the, on the lettering, um, on the font, on the logo. That's really cool. In the back, after the four big stories, He's got his first rough draft of the first chapter of Red Room, and it's a way different book than what it actually turned out to be. But it's really cool to see some really rough thumbnails. This is a rough cut. I mean, he's got lettering in there. He's got all that stuff. It's really cool. You get the first third of his first rough draft for Red Room. He promises that in subsequent collections, he's going to be showing the rest of them. And then at the end of all, this stuff is just so freaking cool. So not only do you get the four chapters of The Red Room, a complete graphic novel, you get a little bit of insight 
into his process, into how he kind of formulates his ideas. And you get a lot of that with the commentary. So there is a creator's commentary at the back of it. It goes page by page of what is contained in the book for Red Room, and it gives you all these tidbits of information where he like developed some of these ideas, how he got some of these ideas, how he came up with inspirations for the characters, a little bit of process type stuff. You also see a lot of this stuff throughout uh, the cartoonist Kayfabe channel. So this book is absolutely top notch. I love super gnarly, crazy horror type stuff. What, what some people like to call torture porn. I don't really necessarily like that term, but sure, I'll own it. I mean, I like that stuff. So early Saw movies, Hostel. We can keep going back further and further. You know us. We love horror here at PCP, but Red Room is perfect for the horror fan. It's the holiday season. If you got a, uh, a nerd that you're trying to get a gift for and, and you just don't know what to get, but they like comic books and they like horror movies, even if they don't like comic books, this could get them into it. Lots of cool um, artwork, really great detailed and textured bits. Um, it's like black and white, but it's, it's freaking awesome. It doesn't hold anything back. I could not recommend this book more for fans of horror films, especially like the more gnarly, the more gross, the more gory. That stuff is absolutely the three G's. That's what I like. Anyway, Red Room gives it to you a plenty. So I highly recommend it. That's what I think about the book. I've got all the issues already, but I had to get the collection because it is just such a beautiful package put together by Fantagraphics and Mr. Ed Piscor. So here it is, Red Room. Let me know in the comments down below. Are you reading Red Room? Do you dig it? Is it not your thing? I understand. Just don't think less of us because we like this kind of shit. Really fun, cool stuff. Anyway, what do you think? Drop a comment in the comments down below. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And join us over at popculturephilosophers.com for podcasts, blogs, and a whole lot more. I've been rocking Robbie Billups. Thanks for rocking with us. Keep on reading and red rooming, but not actually murdering people. Station.